Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day five of our 365 day challenge, our BU 365 day challenge. To do one thing every day that continuously improves us, helps us to show up as who we really are, set the example for the rest of the world that being ourselves is the only thing that we can be, but it's also the best possible thing we can be in the world. Well, today we're gonna to talk about something that I learned at least four decades ago called, and I don't know that it's called the life framework, but I call it the life framework because it's something I've used to frame my life for the last three or four decades. It's the way I set goals, it's the way I set objectives, it's the way I plan out my life and my habits and the things that I choose to do every day. It's I, the framework I use to make decisions. And it's pretty simple. I think I learned it originally from Tony Robbins or Jim Rohn or somebody back in the late 1980s, actually. Actually, it could have been the 19, late 1970s, early 1980s. But ever since then, and learning about goals and goal setting and things, I decided that life was really complicated. And if I didn't have a way to, to break it down and frame it, it was too complicated and it was harder to achieve things. So I adopted this life framework and it just breaks our life into different categories. Now, keep in mind that these things, I, I drew this picture for the Get Up and Go Challenge, are always interrelated, right? The different areas and aspects of our life are always interactive and interrelated to one another, but it's, it's easier if we take and we separate them out in some aspects, in some regards. So what are these areas? I use now nine, in April of last year, I started doing and getting some coaching in confidence and communication because I feel like those are our foundational skills that all of us need and we should be continually improving our communication skills and our confidence and our belief in ourselves and our understanding of ourselves all the time. So I added those to the Get Up and Go Challenge, which is a, a free 30 plus day challenge that I've done 10 times now in the last two years during, started it during April of 2020 with respect to the pandemic. I'm like, all right. I need to get up and do something so I bet other people do as well. What could I do? And I started to do that challenge. And in that challenge, I covered these things as well, the life framework. And it's dividing our life into these categories, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, contribution. And like I said, last uh, last April, I added communication and confidence. So instead of just seven areas and aspects of my life, I do all nine now. And I set my annual goals for those and then I break those down into little bite-sized pieces so that I have things that I can do every week or every day to guarantee them to move toward those goals and objectives. And we're gonna break that process down over the course of the first nine months of this year. We will do physical, we'll focus on our physical being, our physical environment, everything with, not everything, but as many things as we can cover with respect to our physical life during this first month, January, 2022 of the BU 365 Day Challenge. Because part of continually improving is making sure that we are just being the best version of ourselves physically. Our health, our breathing, our sleep, our energy, our um, our appearance. I suppose we could talk about our appearance. I don't know if I want to touch that one, but I will. Uh, our physical environment, our home, our work environment, the things that we keep around us, the amount of clutter we have. That's a big one for me, as you might note. So what we want to do when we're first exposed to these areas is we get to define what's included in each area. We'll, we'll detail that out over the course of the next month and you can decide what physical parts of your life you want to address. We don't always have to be addressing all the parts of our life simultaneously. We'd go crazy if we tried to do everything at once, right? Then they're done that, tried to do it. So in the month of January, we'll talk about our physical the physical aspects of our life. <clears throat> and we will actually run through the SOAP framework maybe next week because, or the week after, because I want to teach you what I teach in the Get Up and Go Challenge is a, another framework that helps us deal with any change or challenge that comes our way. But for today, all we're gonna do is we're gonna think about and rank one through nine, which areas and aspects are most important to us right now. So the most important area and aspect of our life right now to us, in our opinion, on this date, and I, you can see in my notebook, I date it, and then I put each of the letters, and one through nine, one is the most important area and aspect of your life right now. Maybe it's financial for you. Maybe it's your, your health, your actual physical health right now for you. Maybe it's your relationship. Maybe you're having a relationship that is the number one priority for you right now. So this is just a matter of you 
ranking one through nine your priorities and and the area in your aspect of your life that's actually the number one thing that you're thinking about and and concerned about or wanting to change right now physical mental emotional spiritual financial relationships contribution communication or confidence which of those areas is the number one thing to you right now then number two three four five six seven eight nine I have not done mine yet I've done this at least 10 times in the last two years because I do it every other every get up and go challenge and so I will do that and the reason we want to date it is guess what probably during the year we're gonna check back with our priorities and see what we think of them and if they're changing because guess what my priorities change all the time usually at the beginning of the year the reason I started with physical is not only because it's first on the list and pops into my mind first but because normally at the beginning of the year a lot of us me included are reevaluating our physical health our physical energy our physical our sleep um, how we're feeling physically not just our weight but our weight our energy our uh, flexibility things like that and the beginning of the year seems to be that's you know one of the most common New Year's resolutions is I gotta get in shape I gotta get in shape and that usually lasts about two to three weeks for the vast majority of people and then they just go back to their usual habits and ways of being so we are going to try to avoid that this year by hitting that up with the soap framework right as most people are quitting their New Year's resolutions so today all you need to do is rank from one to nine physical mental emotional spiritual financial relationships contribution or communication what is the most important for you one through nine one being most important nine being least important that's it any questions hit me up otherwise I'll be with you tomorrow kind of a long one sorry bye sorry not sorry